Shannon, let me start with you. What did you make of this? Oh, that's a beautiful banner. And they could have unfurled that in any other stadium, in any other state. But it happened in that stadium, in that state, in that city. Because although we do know racism exists all across America, Boston is one of the few cities that fails to acknowledge that. Oh, we're just like any other city. Mm, yeah, you are in a lot of ways because racism does exist in a lot of cities. But for you, on your part, the failure to acknowledge it, this was the last team to be integrated in pro sport, in professional baseball. And it's not so much the banner, it's the race of people that unveil the banner. Because now we're starting to see that white people, and that's what we need to, for them to acknowledge that it does exist. And for them to do, and it had to be, Skip, guys, they could have, all the, the, the monuments and statues around the city, they could have put this banner up anywhere. But we wouldn't have talked about it because someone would have snatched it down and we'd have never seen it. It had to be positioned properly. The iconic, I mean, you got the Chicago Ivy, you got Monument Park at Yankee Stadium, mm -hmm. and you got the Green Monster. And that's what's hanging from the Green Monster, letting everybody know. And what did they say? Racism is as American as baseball. They've been playing baseball since 1869. That's what MLB said. Mm -hmm. 1869. And it says, just like some get enjoyment of watching baseball or attending a game, that's how prevalent racism is in our society. So you are saying you liked this? Oh, I love it. Okay, good. I love Get it. That on record. I love it. Okay. I don't I, like it. Like, like I mean, you know, I like broccoli. You you don't like it. I, 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 li I like it. I like it. Now I love me some chicken breast. <laughs> I love me some so sea this bass. Was chicken this is chicken breast. breast. Yeah, you, okay. That's sea bass. Okay. Ooh, I can eat sea bass every okay. day. Okay. I, I love it, Rob Parker. I, I will I will say, Shannon, the protesters. They hit a home run last night, Skip, at Fenway. Really? That was a home run for yes. me from this standpoint. Your idea of a protest is to disrupt your daily life, mm -hmm. which normally when people block the highways, or that, that's how you get people to be noticed, mm -hmm. okay? Number two is to make people uncomfortable. Very. There we go. That comes out, people. And then, as you said, the place that they did it they had a captive audience of 40,000 people, mostly white, mm -hmm. right, at Fenway Park. And I think every day I understand what Colin Kaepernick has accomplished in this country. Mm -hmm. An awareness. We say it all the time about being woke, right? Mm -hmm. You got to be woke about what's mm -hmm. happening around you. This is an example. It wasn't four black guys trying to right. sneak into Fenway with a banner. It was four young white people who decided that they've had enough, they want to make a statement. And so I thought it was the perfect scenario circumstance in the right place, and especially in Boston, which we know the history of Boston. We talk about it all the time, Skip. But uh, they hit a home run for me. That mm. was pretty amazing, and I think... The, the words on there were perfect in talking about this country and, and again, baseball, which, which I will say was the first to integrate, you know, and I give baseball some credit, but, but to, that nails it right there, and I think people took really? notice of it. Wow. I didn't see it that way. I'll give you this was a warning track shot, but it didn't go over the green monster because it went a little over everybody's head. This was a great idea done badly because the, the ultimate key to any protest is to be painfully clear with your message. I'm still not sure about the message on the banner. And when I first saw it, you know what my first thought was? I thought they're promoting racism because I feared knowing the history of that stadium that the wrong people had gotten a hold of a banner, and I don't know how they got the banner in. They had to smuggle it in because you, you can't have banners in the outfield. So that's a pretty big I don't know, banner. I don't know how I, they I, 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 folded it, that up yeah, and got it past security, up under the arm. like it's a blanket or yeah. something. I don't know, but they did it. Way to go! But racism 
is as American as baseball. And it took me until I read some quotes from a couple of the white protesters to realize, oh, wait a second. They're not promoting racism. They're protesting racism. Mm -hmm. That's not a clear message. If, it's, if that said stamp out racism, boom, home run.